All right, what's up? We are going to install 16 megs of RAM into the ASR10 rack mount, and we are going to remove 23 screws. Yes, this has the new rev board. It's in the serial number range of 13,000 or higher. Here's my shoes. I'm going to ground myself. I'm also going to unplug the machine. So if you don't know how to ground yourself, Google it and ground yourself. If you need one of those wristbands, well, go get one and ground yourself. And look at the screws on the towel. See how I have them all laid out? That's because they go in certain holes. Make sure what you take out is what you put back in. All right, so we're looking around. Here's my little pointer. Okay, what you see is just a bunch of cords and cables and whatnot. The back left corner is where, is the, where the RAM is at. So I'm just kind of showing you around. There it is. Okay, if you're ready to do this, look in the back left corner. All right. All right, here's what we're getting rid of. This RAM back here, see where I'm pointing? Yeah, we're getting rid of that stuff right there. What we want to get is the 8-chip RAM. And you're wondering, what does that look like? Well, I'm going to show you. This is what it looks like. There's four of them there. They've got eight chips on each. If you count the black boxes, there's eight on each. You do not want to use what I'm about to show you next. A lot of companies will try and send you this washed up crap, and it's not the right stuff. You want eight chip, not this. All right. If you count across on this, it's the same thing, but it's got nine chips. I made this mistake, had to send it back. Don't want it. Jumpers, very important. Left hand corner at the top, you see 4M and 1M. 4 meg, 1 meg. If you follow the 4 meg, it goes to 1 and 3. Move the jumper to 1 and 3. Look where the other jumper is. There's EXP and standard. Move it to the EXP side, which is the left side. So 1 and 3 and expanded, which is the left hand side. Okay, now if you notice my video is a little bit out of order here, you're actually going to want to do this before you do the jumpers, but it's pretty simple. All you do is you pull out the white things here on the side, the little clips, and then the RAM removes. Pretty simple. You see the little white little white things? You gotta pull them out. It's kinda hard. It's a little rough on your fingers. So if you got a little sissyitis going on, probably gonna wanna toughen up for the day. See, pull it out there. Yep, pull it out. Oh my god, there it is. Okay, now you do the jumpers and then we put in the new RAM. Okay, I kinda skipped a step there. So we're getting rid of the old RAM. Yeah, take a look at it. Oh, there it is. Yep, we're getting rid of it. Okay, so now it's time to put in the new RAM. Now look, 8 chip, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, not 9, not 10, 8, okay? Make sure when you order it that the person tells you there's actually 8 chips on there, not 9. I'm, I'm, I kid you not, I ordered it 3 times before I got it right. Okay, all you do to put these in is really just push down very lightly and then just push back and it clicks into place and you can't move it see it's like locked into place and you just do that four times push down push back click it's in place not going anywhere there you go the final one do the same thing make sure it's all eight chip and it should be 80 nanosecond and I believe it should be five volt now, we're going to test it with the OS, all right? We're going to turn it on here. Now, obviously, I've got this thing open. Don't stick your hand in there. Don't do anything dumb if you're going to do this as well. Make sure your little brother's not around. Whatever, okay? Now, we put it in. We test out the OS system. We should see 31,000 blocks, which means that we've got a heck of a lot more sampling time than before, okay? If we see that, we know we got it in the bag. There it is. We got it. Double check the sampling time and you know you got it. Now, I recommend looking at the service manual and double checking as you go along here. And when you buy your RAM, buy it from somebody. I, I had the best luck on eBay. If they don't seem interested in helping you with the RAM or don't know anything about the ASR10, you're probably not going to get the right RAM. Okay, so best of luck and enjoy. All right, I got one last final message for you about the RAM. Now, obviously, I've explained that it's 8-chip. You got that part. But here's what you need to understand as well. It's 30-pin, okay? And they're 4 megs a piece, and they've got 8-chips on them. You know that, all right? And they're 5-volt, 
and I believe that you can get 70 or 80 nanoseconds. I got 70. It worked fine. I think the service manual calls for 80. That doesn't seem to make a difference. Now, to check all this out, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get on your computer and you're going to want to Google the ASR10 service manual. Look that bitch up, okay? It's a PDF. It's like 80 pages long and around like page like like 63 through like 71. Um, it'll really run it down and tell you the exact specifications. So if you use my video, you use the service manual, and you use something called common sense, you can't go wrong. If the people that you're talking to when you're buying the RAM don't know what you're talking about, don't buy it from them. And if, it, if, if you see a picture of it on the internet or whatnot, I highly recommend you don't go that route because I did that myself and it didn't work. You want to get somebody on the phone and you want to make sure there's eight chips on it. I had the best luck with the guy on eBay. Uh, his name was Synth Plus. I called him up. His name was Scott. He was like, I know the SR10. I've used it. I've tested my stuff. It works. Now I paid $10 extra for the RAM. Fine. But you know what? I got no headache. I paid $10 extra. It comes in the mail. It worked. It was a done deal. The guy shipped it like as soon as I put in the order. I mean, it was here like lightning fast. So I highly recommend. I know eBay users can sometimes be jacked up. But if you find this guy, Synth Plus, he definitely came through and made it worth my while. So I don't know the guy. I'm not, you know, plugging him for whatever. The guy definitely just came through and gave me the right RAM. So I highly recommend using him if you want to keep it simple. I hope you enjoyed my video on how to put RAM in. Um, hopefully it works out for you. And if it doesn't, I'd say then I would call a service uh, technician and have them help you out. But it really should work. And if, if you get any errors while you're loading it up, you probably don't have the right RAM. If you get like RAM failed, 02500, something like that, then you don't have the right RAM and it's not working. So if you do your homework on this, I've pretty much made it easy peasy. Shouldn't be a problem. So best of luck and I love the ASR10 so that's why I did the video great machine keep rocking it yep